prayer. God's there listening for all who pray, for all who pray and mean it. Psalm 145, verse 18. Jesus said, find a quiet, secluded place so you won't be tempted to role play before God and just be there as simply and honestly as you can manage. The focus will shift from you to God and you will begin to sense his grace. The world is full of so-called prayer warriors who are prayer ignorant. They're full of formulas and programs and advice, peddling techniques for getting what you want from God. Don't fall for that nonsense. This is your father you are dealing with, and he knows better than you what you need. In prayer, there is a connection between what God does and what you do. You can't get forgiveness from God, for instance, without also forgiving others. And if you refuse to do your part, you cut yourself off from God's part. Matthew 6, 6 to 8, 14 and 15. Don't fret or worry. Instead of worrying, pray. Let petitions and praises shape your worries into prayers, letting God know your concerns. And before you know it, a sense of God's wholeness, everything coming together for good will come and settle you down. It's wonderful what happens when Christ displaces worry at the center of your life. Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Pray all the time. 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 17.